Hey folks, I'm Dave. I'm a laser newbie. I'm not an expert, so I understand wanting to find good information fast so you can begin a project or just keep one going. So I've started a playlist called To The Point where I'll cover laser and light burn topics, and I hope it's helpful. So let's get right to the point. Today's To The Point topic is light burn in art libraries. If you can bring something up in the workspace, there's a good chance you can save it to an art library. So if you don't have one, go up to Window, down to Art Library, you'll then get a tab somewhere on your page. Uh, it could be anywhere because they're movable. Once you get it opened, click New. You'll get this pop-up. You want to name your library. And then click Save. You'll see the library populate here on the left. Then you can select your vector, and it can be an individual vector, or it could be an item that's in your project anywhere. And then you want to click Import Graphic from Project. Give that a name. Click OK. Now we have our library and we have our vector inside. If you want to unload this one, you just unload it. Then you can go back to Load. And you can load it back anytime. And this is a good way to separate public domain vectors from original vectors from any that you may have put aside for a special occasion. And that wraps up today's To The Point topic. Right to the point, folks, and I hope it was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It'll help the channel grow, and it'll help me to bring you more and better content in the future. I really appreciate your time and watching. You folks take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.